Hello FIFA faithful, Bearhams here, and welcome to episode 22 of my Aston Villa career mode. Before we get into any gameplay, let's see how we did off camera. Now, I didn't play a single game off camera, I just simulated the whole shebang. And we started off with a draw against Arsenal by a score of 2-2. Two to two. And then midweek against Real Madrid, we lost 3-0, but that's because I put on all the backups and the players that were pissy that weren't getting any playing time. And, you know, we already won the group, so it wasn't a big deal at all. And then we got back to winning ways. We won in Wales against Cardiff, 3-0. And then we beat Leicester, 2-0 at home. And then we beat Burnley, 3-0 at Turf Moor. So for today's episode, we will start with a game against Everton. I know we played them in the last episode, but again, top five teams, big games. We really need to play those, and we really need to win. We got to go to Goodison Park to play them. And then we're back at home just a couple days later against second place Spurs. Yeah, a crazy intense competition. And then we will finish it off with an FA Cup match against Brighton. The best part about this episode is that we get Fabian share back after his terrible, terrible ankle injury. So we do play Everton. And hopefully we don't have a surprise Lewandowski attack. Sancho. We'll find Ricky Puig. I'm giving him a start because he was asking for it. And he did a very good job in the game against Leverkusen last episode. So I was like, you know what? We'll give him an opportunity. There you go. Good. Oh, no. Oh, Rico Henry. Bottles it. Screws it up. There's a through ball. Oh, Pope. You got to attack that. Come on, Pope. Oh, no. Poor play by Henry. Gives them the goal. Man. Grealish. Gets that through to McKinney. McKinney will find Sancho. Sancho. Oh, stay on side. No. That will be the end of it. Not the best half. They do get a goal early. Good flip. Oh, perfect. Come on. Get that to Sancho. Perfect. All right. We got some boys. Sancho still running. Going against the kanji. Sancho. Keep going. Sancho. Centers it. Finish it. Perfect. All right. We got the, t we got the game tying goal here. All right, just got to settle down here. No time for celebrating. Lehman Sears taps that through. Grealish with a lane. Keep going, Grealish. Keep going. Oh, keep going. Grealish shoots. No save. Get the rebound. No! No! Come on! And that'll do it. 1-1. One, one. God. No. The good news out of that game is even though we did draw, we are at least still in second place, though Man City are now three points ahead of us as opposed to just one. Yeah, not what we wanted to start the episode. For the second game of the episode, we look to get the double against Spurs. Of course, the last thing we need from this game is a draw. I wouldn't be surprised if we get one since... I know, it's just like they know. It's like, oh, okay, yep. Time to spoil their party. Oh, come on. Gilbert loses it to Son. Youngman's son now. With some open space looking for Harry. Does get across him, but a good block by Gilbert as Gilbert will keep it in. Surprised he did that. Flips it up. All right. Maybe a chance now. Frazier going against Foyth. Keeps it. Come on. Get it. Yes. Ryan Frazier gets the scoring going for the villains. So he's just running around being like a crazy man since he knows how important that goal was. Youngman's son. Oh, centers that through. Get in the way, get in the way, get in the way. Oh, come on! Yep, kickoff glitch goal at its finest. Ali now with the ball. Again, chased down by Tarkowski. Sher wins the header. What the hell? Don't kick it. Okay, good. Okay, Frazier wins it, and that will be the end of the first half. Ah, oh, that was frustrating. As soon as we get the goal from Frazier, they just put one back in. Thankfully, that weird karate kick pass from whoever that was didn't go in. I have brought on Layman's Sears for Chuba just because Chuba's been a little non-existent this game. And because, remember, the last time we played Spurs, it was Layman Sears who got that game-winning goal. It's where maybe to look a run from him. Oh, he's through. Come on. Oh, phooey. Pfft. Oh, good play, Gilbert. Sancho, back to Gilbert. Skill Bear doesn't have the pace, but he does have some real estate. He's going to have to center it. McKinney sees a run. Grealish, finish it. Yes! Yes! Captain Jack. Smooth sailing for him as he puts one past Lloris. 
celebrates with the home crowd. The Holt end. Yes! Oh, it's a long ball. Will it be kept in by Sun? Yes, it will. There's a cross. Good. Oh, no! Come on! Gotta be kidding me. Here's Grealish. Tries to keep it, which he will. A lot of pressure. Gets cut down. There we go. That's what we needed. It will be Sergio Ramos, of all people, who does take down Captain Jack. And now, it's up to Ryan Frazier. He's already scored once today. What can he do to get us the victory? There we go. Right off the post and in. Ryan Frazier with his second goal of the game. And we have the lead with just 12 minutes left, though. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to keep it or not. As McKinney does win it, Grealish. It's going to lose it, though, as Winks just jumps out of nowhere to win it. Now there's just a couple minutes of added time here. Can we just hold on? Harry Kane getting hassled, but he just eludes Captain Jack. He's still running. Through ball. Chance for them to score. Thankfully, that's off target. And we will get the three points. It was surely a nail-biter. But finally... Captain Jack falls down. We get the penalty, and Ryan Frazier gets his second goal of the day. So we do get three points from Tottenham, and I'm hoping that will just get us somewhat closer to Man City. For our third and final game of today's episode, it's the backups that get the call as Keenan Davis, fresh from his loan spell at Sheffield United, gets the start. Cross in, header. All right, easy scooped up by Connor Ballard. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're in trouble here. Cross the box, good header out. Nice play by Gilbert, who is having to play emergency center back since we don't have too many center backs in for the FA Cup. Maybe we run here. Keenan Davis, can he score? Yes, Keenan Davis. Again, fresh from his loan spell at Sheffield United in his first game, back in the Claret and Blue, gets the goal and the lead. Across the box, good clearance out by Mings as header will find Puig. Puig doing his best to keep it, but they do get a shot on target, but it was a foul. Cristante gets cut up by McGinn. Good passing around, Ricky Puig. Oh, finds Walcott. Walcott, yes. Theo Walcott, he might be old. He might be deteriorating, but he puts one in the back of the net with such ease. Easy curler, past the keeper. I think we're going on to the next round. It's going on there, but eventually it will find Theo. Well, one of the Theos. Oh, through ball, Keenan Davis, 4-2! No, hits the post! Oh, I was so sure of it. I do have to announce Theo Anderson is 70 overall, which is nice to see. I don't think he'll make too much of an impact for the rest of the series. I hope he does. I hope with some training that he'll get up there. As McGinn finds Keenan. Keenan looking for Puig. Puig will beat him. Ricky Puig, all being nice, finds Watkins, and he will get the assist. So we are just hammering Brighton at the moment. Good block. Theo still keeping it. Theo will find Puig now. D Davis onside looking for that brace. Cuts in, gets taken down, no call, as it will just trickle away for a goal kick. Right, that'll do it. End of the half. Great start. Three goals. One by the returning man, Keenan Davis. Got us started. Stick to him. Oh, there's a cross. Get it out. All right. Oh, that's still not out. Cristante finds Mape. Mape is able to turn Mings. There goes the clean sheet feel bad for Ballard it's been okay all game they do get the goal but still got two of more than them through ball is he on side he is on side Keenan Davis will he get his second goal yes he will perfect way to cap off this episode with an absolute bashing of Brighton it's Keenan Davis celebrating with the supporters what a great way to 
end this episode. To finish off the episode, we will take a look at the league table, and currently we are in second, tied with Liverpool, as we do have 51 points, but it is Man City that do have three more points and five more goals in terms of goal differential. Honestly, it's probably going to be down to us, Man City, whenever that matchup is. If we can win the double, I think we will win the title. So for the final surprise of this episode, we will take a look and see who our round of 16 matchup is. And it is Piemonte Calcio. Yes, imitation Juventus will be our opponents for the next episode. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as you're playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hands, and as always, toodaloo.